this demonstration, we'll be using Windows Protector IP as a .1x authentication type. Cisco ISER is performing the RAID server function. Windows Active Directory is external database for the ISER. The Cisco switch will be the authenticator. To set up the Active Directory as the database for the Cisco ISER, we need to provide a name for the database, the domain name of the Active Directory, and a domain user credential to join the ISER to the domain. We can then use the test user authentication feature to test our setup. If everything works, we can join the ISA to the Active Directory by clicking the Join icon. After the Cisco ISA has joined the domain, we can see ISA appears in the Active Directory Users and Computers. The next step is to set up the Cisco switch as a network device to be monitored by the Cisco ISA for radius messages. To do that, we need to provide a name for the switch, the IP address of the switch, and the radius password to be used. Since Windows protected it authentication type involve server-side certificate authentication. I imported a copy of our domain root C certificate in the trust certificate store. This will allow user computers window PIP client to trust the ISIS system certificate. As you can see, the system certificate is a CA signed certificate. As this is a lab environment, our authentication policy uses the default .1x authentication rule. Again, since this is a lab environment, the authorization policy uses the default authorization rule. We now finished configuration on the ISA side, and let's take a look at the Cisco switch configuration. Let's start with the Radius page. On this page, we need to enter the Radius password as well as ISIS IP address. We then go to the .1x property page. We enable pod base authentication, enable radius. We then go to the port authentication web page. In this demonstration, I use port number three. And let's take a look how port number three was configured. Port number three Port control had been set to auto and dot one X authentication had been enabled. All other field values are default values. 
at this point of time, switch port number 3 status is unauthorized. Let us use command line interface to take a closer look. I'm going to power up the PC connected to switch port number 3. As you can see, the link status changed to up. Spanning tree protocol status changed to port forwarding. And you can see the port is now authorized. Machine authentication is successful. I'm going to enter a domain user credential for network logon. And you can see that the user authentication is also successful. I'm going to use remote desktop protocol to access the PC and take a look at the dot one x configuration on the computer. DOE1X authentication is enabled. We're using Protector IP. User authentication is MS Chap version 2. As you can see, the computer has a copy of the domain root CA certificate. This allows the PC to trust the system certificate of the Cisco ISA. Let's look at the report.
this is the machine authentication report. And using PIP. This is the user authentication report. The user is administrator. And the authentication protocol is PIP and as CHAP version 2. Thank you for watching.